in the tables we have a lot of data and we have the detailed data but sometimes it is useful to have an overview of the data to get a summary of the data to get an aggregate of the data so there are powerful functions available to perform this and of course there is a need to remove the duplicates also so in this module i will cover all of this what i have mentioned so let's look at the overview of this module summarizing functions eliminating duplicates grouping the results and most importantly retrieving or pulling data from different tables from multiple tables so let's look at this in more detail so just as php contains large number of built in functions mysql also gives you many functions to assist with your queries in this module we look at some of mysql's aggregate functions rather than returning the actual data contained in a table these functions let you summarize a table in different ways okay summarize in different ways you can count in slightly different ways also for example count the field name returns the number of rows selected by the query where field name is not null and count asterisk over here count asterisk over here we have this we can have a field name also okay returns the number of rows selected by the query regardless of whether the rows contain any null values so here are a couple of count examples and you see the count examples over here so we have one count example over here we have one count example over here and this is the min over here aggregate so you see that we can work with the dates also so how do we eliminate the eliminate the duplicates occasionally a query returns more data than you actually need even when using where and limit clauses say your access log table contains the following data this is your access log okay and what we can see over here is the member id is repeating over here okay but these urls are different we'll talk about it now imagine you want to get a list of the ids of users that have accessed the site since november 7 you might create a query as follows you might create a query as follows might now there is a problem over here the value 3 appears twice in the result okay this is because there are two rows in the access log table with member id of 3 and last access later than 7 november representing two different pages viewed by user number 3 if you were displaying this data in a report for example user number 3 would appear twice you can imagine what would happen if this was 100 times viewed okay so we need to use duplicates removal okay how do we do this distinct removes any rows that are exact duplicates of other rows from the result set for example the following query will still contains two instances of 3 in the member id column because the page url column is different okay 3 is here but these are different these are different over here because of distinct 1 3 is gone okay now how do we group the results very interesting you have seen how to use functions such as count and sum to retrieve overall aggregate data from a table such as how many female members are in the book club what if you wanted to get more fine grained information for example say you want to find out the number of different page urls each member has viewed you might try this you might try this query but it is wrong why is not a good idea all this query has given you is the total number of rows in the table instead you need to group the page url count by member id to do this you add a group by clause which is in this over here group by clause this works that's better by combining the aggregate function count 
with the column to group by a member id you can view statistics on per member basis in this case you can see that members 1 and 6 have each viewed one distinct page whereas member 3 has visited two different pages member 3 has visited two different pages okay so you can group by an order by in the same query all right you can do this and which is shown over here highest number of distinct pages you can see over here see so this is very powerful and finally pulling data from multiple tables so far your queries have worked with one table at a time right however real strength of a relational database that you can query multiple table at once using a join okay so in the previous example that retrieved statistics from the access log table your result sets contained a list of integer member ids in a member id column for instance let's say you want to list of all members that have accessed the website so these are the members without names without names now of course the member id is, isn't very useful if you want to know the names of the members involved you have to run another query to look at the data in the members table so 136 you have over here but what about the accesses now you can see that the member number one is in fact john sparks member three is whatever you can see six is bill swan however by using a join you can combine the data in both tables to retrieve not only the list of member ids that have accessed the site but their names as well all this in a single query okay so over here you have performed the join over here you have the join and you have the names and the access everything all right from the access log so this is the power of the join so that's all i have for this module for you